Hey guys and welcome to another quick logic tip video. Um, recently I've made a couple of videos about um, GarageBand on the iPad and then Logic Remote on the iPad. And both of them have this feature called Chord Strips that allows you to play chords by just tapping on these ladders. Right? And it's one of the best things about the Logic Remote and the GarageBand for, for iPad. But what if you don't have an iPad and you don't have access to this wonderful chord strips thing? Well, let's get rid of that. Well, here's a string instrument there, right? A string instrument. And a guitar. Etc. right? What we do have... Um, in Logic is uh, for all synth type, keyboard type instruments and sample type instruments at the top of the channel you'll find the MIDI effects slot and we have the chord trigger so we can use that. I'm just going to show you the most simple way to use it because it's very very easy to use in a simple sense but I'm learning more and more about this it can get quite deep. So there's two modes single mode and multi mode. Now in single mode if I press a key it plays a chord any key in the range that I set, because you can restrict the range, now single mode will only work from the bottom of the keyboard up to C4, whatever I want, and any notes outside that will just play single notes. But in single mode, every key plays the same chord, just going up and down in semitones. But it's always the same chord with the same harmonic spacing, right? But in multi-mode, again, you can you can say I want it the entire keyboard to be in multi-mode or restrict a section of your keyboard to, to, to do the triggering. So, you know, C1 to C2, I'll set up some triggers on here, notes below and above, we'll just play single notes. Now we're in multi-mode, it means that every um, you can set up different chords on different keys. So they won't just play the same chord going up and down in semitones, but they'll play completely different chords. So now we do learn. And for some reason, you always get these two white notes, which are assigned to keys. I don't know why, but we can clear those. Select, clear, select, clear. Okay, so I want my trigger range to be C1 to C2. So I go to C1, that's the trigger note, and now I can put in a chord. Done, there's my first chord. Okay, next, this one. I'm going to miss out the black notes. So on the next white note up, I'm going to make a different chord. Like that, so. Next. Now I've got I want to change one. Now it's minor. Next one. Yeah. Now this chord is playing up here above C2 and so I don't get bottom bass string notes. I wanted to add in bass string notes like that. That one also is missing the bass notes so learn. that so like that then let's just tweak this with a bass note
whenever I like. Yeah. Yeah, you just build your chords like that. So next one. Uh, Etc. And then you can just play them from your master keyboard. Yeah? They'll just play. Yeah, that's the simple, it's a very simple way to set up chords like that. And it will work on, um, oh, and you can save that, you know, save it as a chord sequence. Just do save as, here's two I created before. Right. So, um, let me save that, save as. My chord sequence three, okay, let's um, close that. I go to the guitar track and put in the chord trigger here. And I'll load up one of the other ones I did. Well, this is the one I just did. My chord sequence three. And it will trigger your guitar chords. You know, let's, let's try another one. This is the chord sequence two I built. And this is sequence, the first one I made. Yeah, you just build the chords and then you can just tap them out with the master keyboard and, and play in your chord stuff. It's a lot easier than faffing around penciling in notes. Yeah? Anyway, look, that's just, you know, how to use the chord trigger in the most basic, simple sense. Um, and I say notes above and below the range will just trigger normal notes. Yeah? Actually, these seem to be pre-assigned to strum chords anyway but you know what I mean so this works only in multi you, you or in single you restrict the range in multi different notes can have different chords in single every note has the same chord just going up and down in semitones but in either you can restrict the range that will respond to the to the chord trigger thing okay look that's just a simple way to use it it's very useful I hope that is useful for you